my mic, the battery went out. So please excuse the sound on this one. The collective that has their own karmic who's been sort of blocking them, blocking their way. Um, divine feminine's karmic. How are they feeling? What is this karmic intending? What do they know? What are they? Yeah, what are they intending? How are they feeling about the situation? Okay, so I asked the question and the seven of wands popped out. So, um, you might be feeling like you still have to defend yourself from this person, but you do have protection. Um, I'm going to find out. I'm going to ask one more for this. How are they feeling? What are their intentions? That This could already be the answer. Okay, yeah. Okay. They're in their head a lot. It's a nightmare. They're feeling rejected and heartbroken. This could be you feeling like you need to protect your energy from them and they might be aware of that. The problem is, is that it's over. Whatever it is that they were trying to do, it's just over. It's a problem for them. For you, it's good. They can't stop themselves from spying on you and watching you. They were really, I mean, whatever they did to try to win at all costs and that they were spending their time on trying to bully you and just, and, and hyper-focused on you, um, that just took up their entire life. And the reason it's showing up in their recent past is because that's why they're in the nightmare now. What they tried to do, they spent so much, so much time working on winning that now they're here. There could be also this seven of wands could be feeling like they're under attack now. I'll get clarification. They were trying to block you. What are they intending? Hmm. Looks like they're... They've done something still. They've done something still, or this could be what they're expecting for you to have. They're expecting for you to have this, this Ten of Pentacles and are, are moving away from them. There's something about this where it's like they're watching you. Um, I don't know if I'm getting there completely done yet with their, they know it's over. Winning at all costs is, has done nothing. There could be some paranoia. I do feel like they feel like they're under attack. What's happening in the near future, please? Okay, you've stuck to your guns. You are going to emerge healed. Whatever it is you've been working towards is coming to fruition. You're there in this star energy, kind of standing out, very healing. You know, all the work you've done to stay balanced. It's like now a mixture of this. Queen of Cups is still there, but you've got it's like they help to empower you by putting you through this you're there's almost like a more linear quality about you 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 know how to protect your aura and your space more and it's a new you that emerges here you're still the queen of cups but you are more careful about 
you personally know you're more careful about who gets to has has access to you so it's like yeah this is a new you emerging this queen of swords with the star this is beautiful not just anybody can get in your space but you're emerging healed and things that you've been working towards You've used your mind in a different way and protecting your aura in a different way. So this is what's going to emerge. They helped you actually get here. I think this wanted to come out as well. I think it really knocks them out. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm going to actually let you see these, but I'm going to put them back in the deck because I feel like they almost wanted to come. It's like their lies that they told around this just really beautiful thing that you were building that was just protected. Justice, justice is here. That really, whatever they meant for you happens to them in this thing that they were building. So I feel like this Four of Swords equals all of that. But I'm going to put them back, these ones back into the deck. Yeah, this is really wanting to like, it's going to really knock them out. When you emerge, because you probably blocked them, um, it's really going to knock them out. They are experiencing a tower right now. I think it's almost coming to after being in a weird trance, just coming after you and stalking you and trying to win something, just going about things in a really crazy way. But I think they're also having an outburst, realizing that what they've done was pointless and that they might have helped you. And now everything that they were trying to do to you is happening to them. Yeah, they're going through something big. I'll get clarification. For everyone around them, they appear to be under judgment. It's like a wake-up call. Look, this is this is intense. This is what they're seeing. Their whole world. They could be going through something really big right now. A big wake-up call. They were building something on something false. And not only are they experiencing it, people can see them going through it. And people understand why as well. Wow, this came up in the kar karmic reading for the Divine Masculine, so it's a similar energy that you are experiencing as your person. This karmic is, it's almost like you had the awareness or the, the inspiration came through you. It's almost like creativity munching. It's like, what are they going to do without your energy? And then this reunion happens. This could be with your person. This could also be with the people that you were trying to build something with, some project or friendship or love or whatever it was that they were trying to block. It's going to happen. They weren't able to block it. This is an unsuccessful attempt. So think that they're also seeing you as emerging this also came up in the previous reading i did this morning they're seeing you um they underestimated you people thought you were naive potentially just you know seeing you as this queen of cups and that's why they thought that they could just kind of just cut you down to size you know you were you were working from the heart you really were sweet and to this person you didn't deserve any of this they underestimated you and what they did to you has helped you re-emerge into this Queen of Pentacles as well as this Queen of Swords. And this is just what they see. We know that you're an Empress and a High Priestess.
they really, they did a lot. They did too much, they did too much. They're heartbroken. Yeah, this great fortune that they were trying to take from you, they're heartbroken that they lost it. It's like, it's a nightmare that, it's like your birthright, it's over. They're upset and heartbroken and, and it live in a nightmare. They're like in a, a anxiety ridden nightmare, feeling rejected and heartbroken and attacked. I feel like this is also mental turmoil, mental chaos. This is a really bad state of being, but it's all because they want what's yours. And the fact that what they've done to try to get it, yeah, it's it's changing. They they thought somehow they were confused about thinking that they were actually gonna. It's because they just they underestimated you. Everything they did, they're in despair because it, this feels like paranoia to me. They might still be watching you, but now they're feeling like people might be talking about them. Everything they did to try to gossip and create lies and all of those things are... They did so much work. It's put them in despair. They can barely face themselves. It doesn't mean that they stopped watching you. They could be watching you now. You know, experiencing self-love, um, not being affected by everything that they've done, things not working out in their favor. Yeah, in, in the recent past, everything, everything that they did, all of this Five of Swords bullying, wearing a mask, telling lies, there's something that came out. It just, it worked against them. There was no winners here. Sometimes trying to win, you know, isn't worth the price. They, they were under judgment, experiencing karma. They were creating karma for themselves. And, and everyone could see what they were doing. All that work that they put in caught up to them something this feels like an event as well with this message here courthouse and message he might have received a message or something came back to them about how this is unfolding for them this could be some some improvements in your life or anything that's happened this recent event has really helped them too there could be some evidence that came out because this page of sword page of swords is kind of looking up over here at this this person here who's focused on the queen of cups with those knives and all everything they did everything they did is now is now out and being being judged and people know who they are. So, so I, I think of wealthy man as the person that you're working with or situation. It doesn't have to be an, an actual man because of the way that this card pops up a lot for me. Um, it could be, it could be you in experiencing union, could be a project, it could be people. It, it feels like some progress gets made that becomes outwardly known, not just something that you're keeping to yourself. Something just fell. I'll get it later. This tower. Main male. One more. Main male. Courtship. So yeah, again, these these different kind of characters. Um, this could be someone that has 
that they could have been working with uh, one of their cohorts, one of some karmic energy, um, something about you, you continuing on what they were trying to block. It's like getting the information. So it's realizing maybe through this person um, or seeing you with this person or whatever collaboration this is, whatever collaboration this is, whether it's love, business, art, whatever it is, they're starting to get the picture now that it didn't work. People around them are thinking this is just the beginning after what they've done. People feel like there's more, more, more to the picture here. This person is unraveling. Ace of Wands. Yeah, they're thinking about, they're thinking about the inspiration that you brought to them. Instead of fighting you, you probably helped this person a lot. Under the deck is child. If this was someone that this could be a new beginning that you were trying to, with someone, this could be an actual child, someone who was doing something with your family. This could be an, you know, artistic baby. Um, this could be a pet, whatever it is that they were doing. Um, this project or this thing or this focus of theirs, um, it's like, it's in your hands now. It's in your hands now. They're done. I'll just get a few clarifications. And then I want to ask um, the project or the thing, like if you haven't had contact or if you're waiting, if you're waiting um, to hear about something, you're waiting about what the star is, this thing that you've been working on. I'm going to ask about that as well. But let's just get a few more clarifications. I want to know about this page of swords. They're in despair because family issues, something that they created amongst people. They created a girl fight. They're in despair for what they've done. Um, the fact that you're unbothered by it, it's almost like you saw it all. They're realizing now that they made it themselves into a fool. But it's really hard for them to to face. <sighs> Something came up in a recent past where they learned this is how they're being viewed, and that there's no interest here. Whatever it was that they were trying to do. It's three of Wands. Yeah, they're gonna be stuck watching you. They feel like. They're in spiritual jail, or in some cases, they might have some karmic uh, karma to deal with, which is what this judgment is, especially for any of these karmic energies that might have been playing with kitchen magic or candles or whatever it is, thinking that they could alter destiny. Um, that is one of the reasons why this judgment is here. I think they're realizing, I think they've only come to begin to realize exactly how this is going to unfold for them. This bad reputation, it's going to really knock them out. I think that there's some, yeah, it's like your intellectual, your intelligence. The things that they didn't realize, which seems so obvious to you. Yeah, they've been ghosted. They've been ghosted. They're going to realize that everything that they did is out in the open. 
and that's why that's why they're not part of whatever it is or whatever they were trying to stop you from doing they just hurt themselves a lot of people don't want to have anything to do with them and they've just hurt themselves tell me about this main male courtship tower wow they cannot stand your happiness or anything good happening to you and they are also it's like they're imploding on themselves with hatred and envy and the fact that that's how they're being seen as well it's kind of a mixture it's a tower yeah everything that they try to do they still want it they still they haven't they're only upset because they're being stopped and because they're losing, not because they feel remorse. This is not remorse. They're having a tower moment because they're exposed and because it's not working and because they feel jealous of you. Judgment, expectation, judgment. Oop, whoa. Yeah, people are, people are running. That's what that, that is. When I was saying, it's like people are expecting for a lot worse. People just want to remove themselves from this person's energy because they feel like this is a downward spiral. A downward spiral. That this person has real big issues. This person, this person has emotional issues that they need to get help. help. They need help. They've been doing some things they've been doing and saying things that are not right some of them have been ultra focused on kitchen magic candle work things they might have gone to practitioners some of them are just um, obsessing with tarot cards tarot videos things like that and it's all out in the open where everybody's seeing it it's like they're obsessing over you trying to talk about you in a bad way but then also you know, it's almost like they appear to be obsessed with you and in some cases almost like in love with you, which is like, sorry to say, that's, you know, bad energy, but that's true. In some cases where it's almost like they've got a strange attraction to you, um, watching your journey and just trying to force their way into your life. And now they're experiencing judgment for that. This Ace of Wands just wanted to come out dirty offer okay so yeah this inspiration it's like they want to be a part of whatever you're you're doing it's the creativity that it's almost like in some cases they they want to come back in and pretend like nothing happened um anything else with this this ace of wands Right. They're just, they want to know, they want to know what you're up to. They want to get, they want to get a piece of whatever you have because they feel like, you know, you are the, you are the only way. Instead of going inwards. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this one away. So yeah, this, the Six of Cups, this thing that you've been working on is... You know, you've, you've just, you've dodged the bullets, you've dodged the bullets, but that doesn't, this person's energy, if they continue on this way and don't go inwards, don't go inwards, you're going to be this, this boss bitch, and they're going to be still holding this grudge. Okay, so as far as the energy, the project you're working on, the thing that you might be waiting for, that this karmic might have, your own karmic might have blocked, if there's any delays or healing happening or something going on, what do I need to know? Okay, so there's someone who's in charge or someone that kind of is like the judge of this situation. Um, feels like there, there's, they want to persist and they want reunion. It's persistence and reunion. Um, okay. Um, 
six of swords they uh there might be some stuck energy here they might be dealing with stuff on their own yeah it looks like you know it's if there's any been any delays they've got they've had a lot on their shoulders so if this emperor is could be a masculine or feminine energy if you're trying to collaborate with someone or if this is a new love interest or whatever this is that got blocked this could be you in your own power leadership this is a leadership position um this reunion courage for reunion um seems like they are planning they're still and they've been dealing with a lot of stuff and they they're still planning they've got they've got a lot on their plate they might be a little a beat up as well from this experience so it's like this is feeling like things are still going yeah and this is a king of pentacles this is where you have the star energy and the karmics portion here so they're gonna come towards you and this offer or whatever it is is coming it's coming it's coming yeah okay so we have three of wands and knight of pentacles so they're they're planning the ship is coming in they're going to commit to this thing that you're working on On the outside, it's like they know that this person was in the middle of things and it's like releasing this bully energy or dealing with this bully energy, whoever was trying to win at all costs. They're also dealing with it or strategizing. Yeah, this that's, what, that's the word I was looking for for this one, strategizing. They're strategizing. They've got a lot on their plate. They've got their own issues to deal with as well, this person that you're working with. Um, I think that they are, you know, you might consider this person like a leader and things, but it's like they also have to regain their strength as well. They, they're hoping that you, your spiritual strength also might be mirroring each other if you're feeling a little weak and like you're healing. Just give it a second and also really definitely work on your healing, your meditation, spend extra time on that. Have some salt baths, spiritual baths, extra meditation, spend time in nature, put your feet in the grass, hug a tree, swim in water. Uh, seven of swords. Okay, and then this seemed like it wanted to come out. Let's see, what is that seven of swords out? Okay, we've got nine of cups. They're definitely, whatever you're working on, they love whatever you're doing. If this is a romantic thing, then it's they want to come towards you there's a lot of coming towards you energy still okay so if there's been a pause in communication they're dealing with stuff and then why is this it's like i wasn't sure if the ace of wands if i wanted the ace of wands to come out with that seven of swords or not what is the seven of swords there for is this this karmic energy expectation right i think this is like someone watching your fortune this is, keeps coming out in the readings where it's like the karmic energies don't want to let go um so it's like being aware in it aware of this sneaky sneaky someone thinks that they're getting away with something and they're not yeah right under the deck is this false person so they're also contending with the situation. Get a few more. Just want to know about the Seven of Swords again, because these are all very positive. It shows why there might be a pause or what what everyone is dealing with. Seven of Swords, please. Hmm. Okay, this person, this, this emperor, this person, this stronger energy, emperor friend. Hmm. Seven of Swords gift. Okay. 
to me this is the same thing it's the gift and the fortunes the outcome is there it happens but it seems like there's a seven of swords energy like who are these people They could be dealing with their own karmic energy. It's the fortune, the fortune arrives. The outcome is there. The fortune arrives. Seems like this wants to come out. There's a lot of love there. Hmm. Got sorrow under the deck. This false person, sorrow message of concern there might be another person involved so this per there's just a lot of people who have been i think that they're still dealing with it on their end all of what this karmic energy tried to do to infiltrate um that i think this karmic energy is in despair i don't think it's your person you're collaborating with um, I think that there might be there might still be some messaging going back and forth or recent communication they're still dealing with, trying to figure out on their own how to deal with it. <laughs> I've got to get to this seven of swords. It's like what I want it to be is that everybody's aware of the sneaky behavior and that it resolves itself. But the fact that it ends up in the outcome position, I just want to clarify that this is not wishful thinking. And that that is actually what... It's like maybe there's a snake in the grass that we don't know about that becomes crying over you. The Seven of Swords person. Running. Okay, you're unbothered, you're just doing your thing. So I do feel like this Ace of Wands was real. It's not just wishful thinking. Sometimes Seven of Swords just has to do with like doing things in a way that this kind of karmic energy isn't aware of in order to continue on. But it's more like over here, it's like running running from this karmic energy in order to complete in order to complete whatever it is that you're trying to get done here there's a fortune there it's yeah that grudge holder is still there okay that's what i thought they're still acting out so they're going through all these towers and things they're going through this tower but it's, it's the same. I just did another reading on the, the masculine's karmic. This person is still, you know, going to try to use their words to create problems. And they're still going to be in this sort of like downward, downward spiral, hyper-focused grudge hold, hold. So, so you and your person might have to, or you and this project, you might have to just keep everything you might be working in another way than than you want to or i'm sure you're fine with it but in other words like if you're working on something or you're with someone or whatever it is it might have to happen like without posting on social media or it just being very um discerning about your moves it's like, it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen in a way where it's hidden. So people might not see the results till down the line. You're gonna have to work 
secretly almost that's what i'm getting that this karmic energy is like obsessed doesn't want to heal doesn't look inwards and they get ghosted but everyone feels that it's best to move forward without any contact from this grudge holder and making sure this grudge holder is uh you know just not in the picture hope that helps <laughs>